When words fail, music speaks. As a songwriter, I talk a lot about the importance of lyric writing and crafting phrases that create magic, but I've never done a video sharing some of my personal favorite lyric quotes and why I find them special. So if you happen to be a songwriter needing some inspiration, then let's blast off and get started. JM in your universe. Konnichiwa friends, I'm Jonathan Miller and welcome back to Jonathan Miller Music where we help each other become better artists. I make pop music and every Wednesday on this channel I'm helping others take their music to level 2. If that sounds good, consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell, maybe giving this video a like and sharing it with a friend. My goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, so if you found this video helpful, any interaction helps me out a ton. If not, I hope your next composition sucks. Uh, I mean, I hope you write the best song ever if you subscribe. Think about that. <laughs> All right, so today I'm sharing some of my favorite music quotes with you and why I find them special. As a songwriter, I've done tons of videos about lyrics, both good and bad, and shared a lot of advice on how to improve. However, I've never really done a video like this on my channel where I just share some of my favorite lyrics with you and why they speak to me, why I find them inspirational. Lyrics are such an important part of music because they help us process our emotions, our traumas, our joys. I love being a songwriter and I can't really imagine doing anything else. So if you happen to be a writer or an artist, I'm gonna share 10 quotes with you because maybe they'll inspire you. Cause what's more beautiful than sharing music? So let's jump in. Number one, three months and I'm still sober. Picked all my weeds, but kept the flowers. Sober is a song that doesn't get a lot of attention among Kelly Clarkson's discography, but it really should because it's truly a beautiful song. This line in particular has always stuck with me because it's about acknowledging that healing doesn't always feel that great, but getting rid of people who bring you down can help you see the beauty in what you already have. I actually presented a full lyric analysis back in high school to this song because it has always spoken to me so deeply and the song itself just has beautiful metaphors. So pick Take the weeds in your life and keep the flowers because it's important. Number two, just because you're clean don't mean you don't miss it. There are certain lyrics that Taylor Swift gets repeatedly praised for like All Too Well, which is of course a beautiful song, but because she's repeatedly praised for them, I didn't really want to include those. So I chose a quote that inspired me. Again, like Sober, it's a small lyric that acknowledges the hurt inside healing. It's okay to admit that even though you know something wasn't great for you, there were parts of it that made you feel good. Allowing yourself to admit that in and of itself is another step in the healing process. So I personally have always loved this lyric for that. Number three. When you close your eyes to see the view, you miss everything surrounding you. This lyric is from David's second album, and it actually really helped me when I was first starting out. I had chosen to do music, which my dad did not agree with. So when I heard this song, I actually hung up this quote in my tiny little bedroom office at the request of my mother. She's always been very supportive of my dreams, and she did not like that my dad was making my life a living hell at the time. So hence the whole message of, don't close your eyes to something because you might miss out on something beautiful. So to me, it's always just been very impactful. Number four. As bad as it was, as bad as it hurt, I thank God I didn't get what I thought I deserved. Sometimes life leads you down a different road when you're holding on to someone that you gotta let go. Someday you'll see the reason why. Sometimes, yes, yeah, sometimes there's good in goodbye. I may not always agree with Carrie Underwood when it comes to vaccines, but I would be lying if I didn't say this is one of my favorite lyrics. Country music storytelling is always so beautiful and so rich. And this is an excellent piece on an alternate outcome. Too often in music, after you experience a relationship, songs can become hateful, spiteful, sad, angry, all valid emotions. But this is just a really refreshing perspective of realizing that just because something doesn't turn out how you expected, doesn't mean it can't still be beautiful. Being happy someone else is happy is sometimes what true love really is. And this song really embodies that, which is why I included the entire chorus section. I think it's a good lesson to learn from. Number five, right now I'm in a state of mind I wanna be in like all the time. This is a lyric phrase that I not only love the imagery and the song, but I love that every syllable hits the right way when paired with the beat. It also lines up with each other really well. Right, I, state of mind, all the time. Every beat hits and creates rounded, completed phrasing. And it does that because Max Martin is not a native English speaker. Seriously, spend some time listening to foreign language music and you'll hear songwriting in a whole new light. Number six, does she know how proud I am she was created 
with the courage to unlearn all of their hatred. Olivia really is a talented songwriter, and to take a very poignant subject, have a mature viewpoint, and craft a phrase like this is very impressive. It's an important lesson on saying what you mean to people and telling them things like you're proud of them because it might be the only time they ever hear it. This really struck a chord with me when I heard it, so I had to include it today. Number seven, you promised the world and I fell for it. I put you first and you adored it. This composition deserved a Grammy. I still don't even know why it wasn't nominated. The opening lines of the song say so much and she's barely told the story. When a song's introductory phrase is this strong, I always find a song like that so magical. The part where she goes and you adored it is such a realization to have about somebody, especially somebody that you loved. It's just a really powerful phrase that I think is a great example of how to get the listener's attention right away. Number eight. The buttons on my coat were tangled in my hair. In doctor's office lighting, I didn't tell you I was scared. Yes, this is my list and Taylor Swift gets two spots. So what? No, but really, this song perfectly describes that fear and anxiety of not knowing what to do when someone you love is going through something medical that you literally have no control over and you don't know what to do. For me, the song came out right when I found out my dad's cancer was back, I had just lost my grandfather, and unbeknownst to me at the time, I was about to lose two of my dogs, one of which would pass away the following month. 2019 was not fun, but it really was the only song I could find that accurately described what I was going through. I couldn't even write what I was going through. And I really think this song still deserves way more recognition than it gets. It's a beautiful piece of music, and the first verse says so much while saying so little. It's just really powerful. Number nine, I wasn't just broken, I was shattered. I trusted you so much, you were all that mattered. You no longer love me and I sang like a sad bird. I couldn't move on and I think you were flattered. Kind of like my Ariana example, this is a quote where everything just hits paired with the beat and the phrases aren't awkward to make them complete or make a certain rhyme work. They're full, they're thought out. Apparently I have a thing with first verses of a song, but I love this story's progression of thoughts. The first three lines tell actions in the past and the final line is a current thought, signifying a shift in perspective, which is what the rest of the song is about. Shania wrote it by herself and it's a phrase I go back to a lot because I just love it. Number 10, I choose survival. I'll rise like a tidal wave, free into the wild, embracing revival. Of course, what kind of songwriter would I be if I didn't include at least one of my own songs in this list? <laughs> Seriously though, why not share one of my favorite lyrics of my own songs? Honestly though, I've always found that some of my best work comes after experiencing really tough hardships, and I was under so much stress when I wrote this. The phrase, I choose survival, was actually in my head for quite a few weeks before the rest of the song came to me. And this phrase in particular is about understanding that life comes with very tough times, but finding the strength within yourself to choose life over the things that could break you. I always want to inspire people with music, just like all the artists that I've shared today, because I've found that music is a dish best served inspired to those who are willing to take the time to listen. So those are some of my favorite song quotes. Question of the video, what is one of your favorite lyrics of all time? Leave me a comment below letting me know. If you want to check out my music, I've left some links in the description below and you can check out some of my music videos as well. They're all in the description for you. And if you really like me and like what I do, consider joining me on Patreon like Meg here and all these fantastic people to get all sorts of fun rewards, including access to my YouTube calendar to see what's coming to the channel. But as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new. I put out new videos every single Wednesday. Once again, I'm Jonathan Miller, and I will see you next time. See you later. I am a machine, I got a robot, not a robot, I'm an electronic lady.